Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot. This is a Hot Sea Hot Water Pressure Washer. If you watch New Tool Tuesday, I don't know, whenever it was, a week ago or something, I introduced this to the channel. It is here. We're going to use the floor cleaner today. Behind me is a concrete pool deck. I'd love to say I'm getting paid for this job, but I'm doing this one pro bono. We are at my parents' pool right now. They said they need the concrete cleaned. I don't know, it's probably been five years since I've cleaned this concrete. So we're gonna do it today. We're gonna try the uh, 24 inch floor cleaner. And uh, I wanna test a couple things. I wanna see how, obviously I know that's gonna be quick. It's gonna be faster than the gun. I brought the gun with me. We're gonna find out how much faster it is than the gun. And then I also wanna test if there's a difference between hot water and cold water. This concrete does not see any grease or oil or anything like that. I'm not sure if it's gonna make a difference. We're going to find out. We'll just pick two squares out there somewhere. We'll do, uh, we'll do hot water first maybe, and then cold water, and see what it looks like. Turn the hose on and run all the air out first before we get this thing fired up. I probably look ridiculous with one boot tucked in and one not. I got the old high C muck boots on today. There's a discount code if you guys are interested down in the description. My cowboy boots and these muck boots are both from high C and uh, I don't know how wet we were gonna get today so I want the muck boots. Oh, that's cool. Let me show you guys that, what that looks like. So it's got two bars underneath it. You hit the trigger, they spin. And I'm probably gonna get the camera so cold on, we'll aim it this way. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right. We are gonna do, do cold water first. Just start right here with cold water, right up to the edge. All right, let's switch it over to hot water. All right, hot water we go. I think I'm just gonna do it all with hot water. We won't know till it dries, but I think it's cleaning better. So I'm gonna do the whole thing with hot water. We'll save that far square for the wand. All right, let's cool it down. Uh, actually, let me get these squares right here. All right, let's uh, let's see how long it takes us 
with just the wand. All right, done. And it is definitely not as clean of a finish, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna end up hitting this with the, with the floor cleaner anyway. So I'm gonna get this switch back over, put the floor cleaner back on, and we'll get back to it. All right, we're gonna switch out the gun, just go clean up, and then uh, we'll let this dry a little bit because I wanna see the comparison between the hot and cold. It's drying now. I don't really see a difference, but uh, we'll wait till it's all the way dry. Oh, that's not connected. Why isn't that connected? It appears, it appears I ripped the O-ring somehow in that gun. Let's see what happens here. That fitting might be done for. Seemed like the O-ring ripped. We'll find out in a second here though. Yep. It's spraying water. That is no bueno. So there's a little O-ring inside here. And it looks like it just Oh yeah, that O-ring has left the chat. I don't know, you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see inside there, but there is an O-ring inside there. Is it focusing? We'll have to investigate that one. Good thing it happened at the end of the job, we're done. I'm gonna pull the power washer out of here, out of our way, and uh, we'll take a look, see if there's a difference between the cold water and the hot water. So this square was the cold water, this square started the hot water, and I really, I don't see a difference. But like I said, there's no grease, there's no oil. That's what that hot water is really made for. However, I'm pretty happy with it. One little O-ring, that's a non-issue. I call that an easy fix. I'm not worried about that. I don't know if I just didn't let the O-ring cool down fast enough or enough to, and it was still expanded while I tried to put it on the gun. I don't know. I'll just get another O-ring, no big deal. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you're interested in one of these hotsies, make sure you check out their website. It's down in the description. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. I do all sorts of stuff on this channel. There's bound to be something you like. Until the next video, hope you guys have a great day.